Hey everybody, it's Jessica, and welcome back to the Ebony Escape. Today I have a couple of drawings for you that were actually some old drawings that I've redone just for personal reasons. But you know, I'm definitely gonna get into what those reasons are. <laughs> So essentially, these pieces are from when I was in college, in my senior year to be exact. And essentially senior year for visual art majors is when you create your like senior thesis, your body of work that you present before you graduate. These two pieces in this video were things that didn't quite make the cut with my professors. Like they didn't, the execution wasn't really working and I still firmly believed in the idea so I wanted to run with it and I just wasn't able to include it in my final body of work but I never forgot the pieces and you might actually find like some old drafts of those pieces on my Instagram and the reason why I went back to the work was because like I said I couldn't get them out of my head and I still believed in what they could be and another reason to boot was uh, there's this podcast I listen to called the Creative Pep Talk Podcast and Andy J Pizza has a prompt where you should, in order to jumpstart your creativity or get out of a rut, you should probably try like these 20 prompts. And one of the prompts was to return to a former piece of work that either didn't work or was rejected or something that was left in the trash pile or whatever, like go back to it and try it again. So that's what I did. So that's at least one prompt checked off for this year. So essentially, I went back to these pieces because they have a special personal meaning to me. And I call these pieces my let go girls. And the first girl that you see with the orange uh, and yellow kind of sunset abstracted background is let go girl one. And the second piece with the blue, green and black kind of background is let go girl two. Those titles were inspired by a song by this artist, Bo Young Prince, called Let Go. And that song was in the Spider-Verse movie. And I was really inspired by the lyrics because particularly during my senior year, I felt those lyrics because those lyrics talk about what it means to feel lost, what it means to not know where you're going and to feel like you're not sure what your next move is. You feel like one person over here is telling you this, the other person is telling you that. And life can be so overwhelming that you just wanna run away and you just wanna escape and you just wanna let go. So I just use that song as kind of like a theme for those pieces. And I just wanted to make black girls, particularly as I am a black girl, <laughs> that were able to let go. And when I think of let go, I don't just think of it as a theme. I think of the abstracted space that the girls are in, in the pieces, as a place called the let go. So it's just this abstracted space where it's kind of meditative and you can let go of your problems and issues or you can just sit with them and then you just kind of float there, you just kind of travel. And in addition to being inspired by the song Let Go, the way that the girls exist in the space kind of floating or flying there, I was also inspired by the movie A Wrinkle in Time, where you see the main character tessering through space and she's traveling from one point to another. And at first it's like really, really hard and she looks like she's suffocating and it's really scary. But once she learns to accept herself, her, her positives and negatives, her flaws and all that good stuff. She sees that tessering is easy and it's beautiful and it's like floating and it's kind of like aerial and it's really beautiful. And so I was inspired by that. And I wanted to use that in these pieces. And I hopefully wanted to show other individuals that you can let go in this kind of meditative, colorful, abstracted space. Even if everything seems messed up or there's so many different crazy things going on in your life, you can still go to a space like this, whether it's an actual place or whether it's a place in your mind. You can go to a place where you can sit with your feelings or you can try to escape your situation altogether, like either or, 
or both at the same time is totally fine. So I really wanted to do that with this work. And I believe that I've accomplished that because I can see how in the first piece, the girl is kind of like exploding with joy and actually changed her pose because at first it seemed kind of like she was raptured up, which was okay, but I wanted her to have like this more purposeful position where she was like exploding with joy and it almost seemed like she was leaving as well as being taken up. And for the second girl, I made her look like she was flying because I wanted it to feel like she was getting in the groove of things and while she was in her version of the let go, she was just kind of at ease and just flying there. But I really do love what I was able to do with these two pieces. And these are just remakes because when I made the pieces at first, I actually made them with acrylic on watercolor paper and um, on canvas for the second one and I made watercolor figures of the two girls and tried to like glue them on there or see how they could sit on the canvas. But for some reason, it wasn't working right and my professors weren't really a fan of it, but I still loved it. But um, I still believed in the pieces. So here we are like two years later and I'm still remaking it because I believe in what the work is. And I feel like this medium also works well because I'm able to layer them on top of each other with like digital art a little more easily because I can manipulate the girl a little more easily. When I was making it traditionally, my issue was trying to figure out how to make this cutout sit right on this abstract background. But recently I was looking at GDB uh, or Geneva B, she's on Instagram at her work and she was doing something similar to what I was trying to do a couple of years ago. And I really love how her stuff is coming out. So I might even try to go back and make versions of the work again in a traditional format and try to layer the um, girls on top of that. So, because really it was the execution that wasn't working when I did it the first time, but now that I'm trying to learn how to do digital art more and get a handle on what brushes I like and all that good stuff, I feel like this is really good. So that's my explanation of the reasoning behind these two pieces of work and everything, but I also wanted to give you guys a little bit of a life update. I'm still working on editing and rewriting my book, uh, Guardians of Mass and Memory. So that is coming out this year. But to be perfectly honest with you, the issue that I'm having is I'm having some personal life upheaval stuff going on right now that's making it really hard to sit down and write. But I'm trying to find a balance between giving myself grace while I'm working through all this different life stuff while also trying to get this book together. So, you know, for those of you who are still waiting for that book, I thank you for your patience and I am working on it. And even though I'm not getting into, or I'm not going to get into what that personal life upheaval is, this is really how serious it is. I don't know uh, what you guys believe in or don't believe in, but seriously, like if you could throw your girl a prayer, <laughs> or even some good vibes. I'm not joking. <laughs> I ain't lying. I'm telling y'all for real. But seriously, thank you guys for sticking around and people who come by and watch and those of you who are subscribed, I really appreciate you and I thank you. But I'm still working on this book and I'm gonna get it. And from this message, you can tell that I need some let go girl. But if you're finding that you wanna have these let go girls for yourself in your space, you can purchase Let Go Girl 1 and Let Go Girl 2 on society6.com slash ebony escape. They're available as prints, posters, tote bags, wall hangings, and all that kind of good stuff. If you want to check that out, you can go to society6.com slash ebony escape. And again, thank you all for watching and I appreciate you and I hope you have a good day. Bye.